Hello there, buddy! Welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Part 5! Alright, so in the last uh, episode, we went through Carnival Night Zone, now we'll be going through Ice Cap Zone! Now, something to, interesting to be noted, people believe there was originally supposed to be a level between um, Ice Cap Zone and Carnival Night Zone. There are a variety of reasons for believing this. And, uh, the level they think was supposed to be between- Ah! Darn it, that glitch! I hate that glitch! Uh, yeah. Sometimes if you don't hit that slope correctly, it'll kill you. A anyway, like I was saying. Uh, the level that was supposed to be between Carnival Night Zone and Ice Cap Zone was actually moved to, um... Oh yeah, big rings don't appear after you've died. Was moved to, uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Um, I'll explain what that zone was whenever we get to it. And why people believe uh, that it was done that way. Gotta make sure to jump on this or else this is an endless uh, passageway down here. In fact, that's a big theme of this area. Big slopes that are endless passageways. You're gonna find several of those throughout this level. Penguins! With penguins inside! Now these guys, um, you can use your uh, electric shield to destroy their spikes, or if you're playing as Sonic, you can use your air shield to hit them through the spikes. If you're playing as Tails, or Knuckles, and you don't have an electric shield, um, there's really nothing you can do through them. This section requires good timing, or else you'll get crushed. To the right immediately. Alright, now these icicles, um, they're not too hard to work with. If they, if you do touch the bottom of them, they will hurt you, but, um, they're more platforms than obstacle. I really like, uh, having the, uh, electric shield when going through, uh, sections like that with all those rings. Make sure to go left here to find this thing. Now, once again, in this level, there isn't really a particularly useful shield. There isn't like an ice shield or anything. Um, the best thing you're gonna get is your electric shield. There is no fire in this area at all. And, um, there is water in the next zone, but you won't be seeing it, probably. And so the bubble shield isn't going to be particularly useful either. Thus, due to the fact that the electric shield, well, um, is electric and allows you to collect rings easier, it would be recommended to have this one, most of all. Now this boss, um, you won't really get to see what this boss does, because I'm going to beat him too fast. Oh. Well, okay, you get to see him do this. He tosses the stones up, and then he's dead. But yeah, uh, the stones actually fall down. And you have to sort of dodge between them. Not too hard. Don't worry, you'll get to see the boss more in full eventually. Now, I really like the background that they have here with all these uh, glaciers and stuff. It's amazing that we've come so far from that tropical island, that area that we saw at the beginning of the game. Alright, so let's see what's up here. Because there is stuff up here. This is a Tails path. Check it out! I really like the way that they do the loops in this area. They have lots of creative uses of them. And then they also have these, like, half-submerged loops. That just looks really cool to me. There's also, uh, occasionally little sections of snow that you'll have to basically spin-dash through. But, th yeah, you know, it just passed some. What are you up to, crushing thing? Crushing things? I would have never expected such. There are also some underground caves under here, as you can see. And these things, um, basically they can bounce you upward. They, uh, the higher you fall, down, the higher it'll bounce you upward. Didn't even need a big ring for this one up. But 
no, seriously, look at how many lives I have. This is kind of ridiculous. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this part, I really like this part, especially if you have the electric shield. Look at all the rings that I'm going to get. Oh, more! Let's just make sure that there aren't, like, more up here. Yeah, there are, if you have tails. You can get these, too. And I don't think that's it. I, I, I think that is it, actually. I, yeah. It's as high as I can fly. Then, going through this room... One up, Tails! Now this boss, it's an interesting boss. His ice machine. Nothing to make you immune to my attacks this time. See, first he'll um, do an attack from one of the side things, and then from the top thing, then from the side things. Oh dear, that's bad. Also, uh, the bottom thingy is a uh, spy. Oh! He just changed things up. And I'm getting hit a lot. What the heck is going on here? Oh, come on! You just... You can't do that! You can't do that! You just attacked from the middle. I'm going backward... Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. This is... This is right here. I can do... S okay, no. I'm going to get more rings. Let's go get those. There we go. This is better. But I'm not going to waste time getting a ton of rings over here. 20 should be good enough. This boss is quite annoying, actually. Alright, Robotnik, let's, let's try this again. Wait, no, he's gonna... Oh! Couldn't move out of the way fast enough. Oh! Ah! No! No, 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 no! Ah, oh, darn it! This boss is... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! Robotnik, you are not playing fair. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. He's gonna... There we go. I kind of have to trick him out. And then run into him, of course. Wait, no, because now he's gonna... Now he's gonna do that again! The fact of the matter is, I have to jump onto that platform to get up to him. And now I'm out of rings, again. Now, unlike most bosses in this game, he actually does have a second form. And the second form is easier than this. Ah! I almost had him. I am so cutting stuff out of this. This is... this is just fail time. I thought I had left fail time behind me. I mean, seriously, I did not expect a fail time in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 of all games. we go! Finally! Okay, second form. Um, he's lower now. And that's it. He takes two hits at that point. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Well, folks, I've been Mr. Game and Pie. Next time on Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Launch Base Zone. I'll see you folks then.